Over in Walker County, the city of Huntsville is recovering after severe winds whipped through town yesterday. Businesses near I-45 and the 190 intersection are struggling to reopen as power outages continue. I spoke to one person who says he's making the best out of a bad situation. A Texas town blown away. You couldn't even see through, really see through the windows uh, while the storm was going. The trees falling, power lines were broken in two. The tin off of the, some of the buildings, they were, uh, they, were, they were falling over. The city of Huntsville recovering after a harrowing level of winds. Many began to flee indoors when a microburst reached the ground, which is when the air rushes to the surface before spreading to surrounding areas. It just came out the middle of nowhere. It really started picking up, really getting heavy uncontrollable winds. Two of my co-workers, they said that they were out trying to do a delivery and uh, they just, they thought it wasn't nothing, but it really picked up and they had the air from running the sewer. The dense air shocked people nearby. It also knocked the power out in one of the busiest intersections. This little plaza strip, you got uh, che uh, Chevron, the whole area, even down to uh, Subway has no power. Walter Brown is an assistant manager at Rena Center. His employees have had to move locations. Otherwise, they wouldn't even be able to work. That's pretty much about all we got right now. We're just waiting on them to recover. That's it. But still, he's finding the light in a dark situation. We're still here. We're still alive and we blessed just to be able to be here. As they try to find the calm out of yesterday's storms. And people in the area say they've been told the power should be fully restored in the affected areas by Friday.